Hello everyone, this is Ding Ting with Xinhua News Agency. Welcome to Xinhua Live. Now I am in Shanghai and this is Shanghai Auto 2021. In our live today, I will invite my colleague Rachel to enjoy our live streaming. Hello Rachel. Hi guys. Say hello. hello. Hi guys. Okay. Hi, this is the second day of Shan Audio Shanghai 2021 and the first day we see so many big launches of the new models, new car models, but the second day there are more conversations, smaller talks and uh, industrial conversations between. Let's check out. Yeah, let's take a look. Just a few minutes ago, there was a launch of the new 5G new technology here. This is the trucks, guys. This is the big ones. The previous days, we have seen those um, cars for homes. Now we are seeing those cars for business. As you can see, lots of the cars are equipped with new technologies, some with 5G, the new way of tech technology, others with hydrogen and those green technologies. Yes, and the Auto Shanghai 2021 is the first among the world's biggest auto shows to run normally amid the coronavirus pandemic this year. According to the organizers, 1,000 enterprises from all over the world have registered to participate in the auto show, which boasts a total exhibition area of 360,000 square meters with 12 indoor exhibition halls. And now we are in one of them. And now, as we can see, we have come to the booth of Brove. Yeah, hi, hello. Oh, so can I have a short interview with you? You can. Oh, okay. <laughs> so can you uh, introduce, introduce this car to me? Yeah. Um, so this car is the Zhongji Tianji. This is our four and a half ton commercial vehicle from our new convert commercial vehicle brand, Zhongji. And this is a hydrogen fuel cell car. And I think one thing you'll notice from both of these cars is that you have this huge waterfall grill because we're theming everything around water because that is the end product of this car, the emissions are water. So that's the first thing you'll see. And then I think the other thing you'll see is that it has quite a distinct appearance because it's a new energy brand. We wanted to kind of make something very pure, very simple, but very memorable. So you'll see on the side of the car, there's just two interlocking shapes of color. So it gives a very strong graphic appearance and it's very memorable. And I think this theme will carry on all the way around the car. You'll see it's all very pure, very simple, very clean, but it's highlighted with nice LED details. And then of course, for a commercial vehicle like this, the most important thing is to highlight the spaciousness and the functionality so we have this very bright colored interior with a fold out ramp so the ramp can come down and you can wheel heavy objects into there. We have a fold down table and we have this uh, system on the side of the vehicle for suspending items. The space is very huge. Yeah. The space is huge. And of course the vehicle has a very long range so you can drive without refueling for you know, a long time, which is, gives us a big advantage over electric vehicles. And by the way, we forgot to let you have the self-introduction. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my, my name's Tim Pillsbury. I'm the uh, VP Head of Design for Grove mm -hmm. Hydrogen Auto. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is our, uh, yesterday we launched the uh, Zhongji brand, which is our com commercial vehicle brand. And we do all of the design work internally. So we have our own design team based in Wuhan. Uh, we're a small team. But I think you can see we've done quite a lot of work. Yeah, you can change the <coughs> yeah, I hope so. Why you choose the Shanghai Auto 2021 to launch your new model? Well, this is a, a very big international auto show. Uh, the brand gets a lot of exposure. So I think at this moment in time, this is the best place to be. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Have more questions? Oh, wow, this is actually very nice. Like people used to say for commercial cars, all you need is the um, good CP value. Like you don't have to care the look of the car. You just need this to make, make money. 
like cash cows. Yeah, it's true. But it's different, right? Yeah, we we decided that we wanted to make more of a premium premium uh, vehicle. So you'll notice the finish, fit and finish mm -hmm. is very good. And if you go in to look in the interior, I didn't show you the interior. You'll see that this has a like a premium passenger car like feeling it's not not at all like a van so and that was a, a deliberate you know uh, thing to do we wanted to make sure that when you got in this car it was a comfortable place to be for the end user and at the same time it's uh, it's not only very sophisticated but it's very functional as well like the material is like a denim you know hard wearing we have these storage areas on the side so these are like yeah so you can put in there, um, maybe your cell, cell, cell phones, very, very flexible storage, and then we have this kind of copper accent around the pieces, and even on the seats, which is kind of like the rivets in denim jeans, you know, so we're kind of playing on the kind of luxurious materials, but at the same time, they're very practical and functional, so, so it's kind of like a mixture. When will you bring it to the market? I believe this will be coming out quite soon, probably at the end of 2022, I believe. We are so looking forward to that. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank nice you. talking to you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, let's move on. Okay. This is a really amazing shows you how green technology is actually changing the auto industry. This is the, the some may see this as the ultimate solution to the traveling because what you consume is at H2 and what you take out is only water. So basically this is super clean and everything and you can see NEV has become a very big topic here in Shanghai Auto Show. You can see many of those cars are also NEV and for those cars you can see some of them are actually hydrogen fueled and some of them are electronically fueled different solutions of the future and many of them are equipped with 5G too so that your car can be better connected not only to the road but also can communicate with you with your cell phone and with other cars and I want to talk more about the agenda okay. the period between the April the 19th and the 20th will be the median days and uh, from the April the 21st to 23rd is reserved for the pro professionals in the industry and the public days of the show will last from the April the 24th to 28th. This is people testing those autonomous driving cars give them a try this is the technology of the future give you a tease of what's going on maybe in the future. You can truly see those many different varieties of technologies here. What we see here is many um, technology companies are becoming a bigger, are playing bigger parts in car industries. They used to be only internet com internet companies. They used to be um, only for what's on the cloud. And now they want to play bigger part in auto in industry. For example, we hear here is Baidu, one of the biggest internet companies in China and also in the world. They just newly launched launched this new platform called Apollo, which is um, they have partnered with many car makers, traditional car makers of also try to bring you the future solution of cars. Apart from the Baidu, Apollo, and we also have like Huawei, yeah. like Xiaomi, right. yeah, many other technology companies. They are all targeting at this area. They all believe that 5G can change the um, the total way of how you define future driving. Now you see is the booth of Wulin. This is actually one of the best seller in China. And the Wuling, the, car, the cars looks very cute and with different colors. Yeah, you can see many people 
behind. You can see many people are trying on those cars. They are super cute. Uh, in previous interviews, we were told those cars, uh, like 70% of those car owners of those cars, are actually girls. They are targeting the long forgotten female market. And they also have a new release in the Auto Shanghai 2021, trying to attract more attention in this big event. And sure, China now has been the world's largest car market for many years. The huge potential of the Chinese auto market not only attracts foreign auto companies to continuously increase their investment, but also provides favorable conditions for Chinese auto brands to promote their new models on the world stage. Yeah, you can see the pandemic control measures have been taken out here. Most people here are wearing masks. They are required to um, swap their phones and show their ID when they're coming in. All the tickets will be electronical for all those visitors. So the, all the measures are to make sure you will enjoy a good show. And this is quite different from the previous years. Yeah, right. Previously, uh, we don't have electronic uh, tickets used so often. But this year, like with the pandemic going on, this is the very first auto show, the biggest ones that resume normally here in Shanghai. And now we can see the booth of Bosch, and it is from Germany. Yeah, let's check out. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So can you take us around this booth? Um, so welcome to the Bosch booth. So in Bosch booth, we present uh, uh, technology that we prepare for electrification, connectivity, and automation. Sure, so let's take a look. Okay, let's mm -hmm. take a look. So here, this area, we prepare for the electrification for the future automated driving. So for example, you see this is the uh, chassis, a pre-integrated chassis with the uh, by wear technology. That means in the future, all the electrical vehicles can control the braking, the steering. And also with the future redundant uh, braking system, that means if you have automated driving, your brake is a failure, then you have a backup. It's very safe. Let's go here. So here is what we prepare for the future for the fuel cell technology. This year, Bosch is also uh, focus on the fuel cell technologies to localize in China. And this is also by the hydrogen. Yeah, guys, you can see many hydrogen technology here used in Auto Shanghai 2021, showing all the companies' ambition in this area. Green energy has already been a big event, big topic during the Auto Shanghai 2021. And let's move to automation. What we present here is the completely Bosch solution for automated driving, assisted driving, and assisted parking. So, for example, here we provide the automated parking assist family for our end users. From the park parking lot. Yes. Uh -huh. So, for example, when you are parking uh, out of the slot, if uh, people is coming out of the, the way, mm -hmm. that with our sensors we can detect that pedestrian and do an emergency brake, and as well as for highly automated parking functions, we can allow the users to remotely park your car via your app, your cell phone, smartphone, or the smart car uh, keys. Do you like this function? Wow. They save so much trouble. <laughs> and here what we present is the completely sensor set for the automated and assisted driving. So for example, if you want to realize assisted and automated driving, you need to have uh, eyes and ears of the car. This is our radar and our camera. We also have the solution for passenger cars and commercial vehicles. This is why we say cars are more smarter. <laughs> yeah. And very importantly, for the automated driving, it's not only hardware and sensors, we also need support of software. 
Bosch is the traditional tier ones, and we develop all these functions based on the AutoSAS solutions. This is a, just like the standard uh, uh, system for for the for the car industry to allow the car to be scalable and safe. Nowadays, you are creating lots of data whenever you are driving, when you, when you are using FSD functions and everything. So it's basically very important for you to understand that the data is safe with, within the hands of, within good hands, right? This is also a hot topic. And here, this is our future technologies. Imagine that you have a lot of data, you have a lot of eyes and ears, you need to process the data. So we need a very smart brain and algorithms. This is our domain computer. It's like the vehicle computer, like the brain for the automated driving. We process all the data and do the decision making and control via this unit. While being so super safe. Yes. have a very good automated driving systems but you don't have a good hand and foot you cannot stop in emergency cases and what we need this is our chassis technologies so here we present is the steering technology with the EPS support we can allow the users to different model of steering especially when automated driving when we want to control these vehicles in very critical situation you need that technology to support as well as this is our new braking systems this is like the food of automated driving so for example you have this we call the ESP electric um, electronic stability control normally for automated driving we need that part to do the braking and when that part is not working we have additional backups so for example these two product is for the NEV vehicles and future automated driving this is like the foot of automated driving it's also keep this car very safe and most importantly what we do for automated driving is we need to present and do interaction to the human drivers the driver needs to know is it in automated driving or not this is the Bosch display technologies So for example, this is already launched on the series cars for this UHD display. Yeah. And this curved one, right? Curved display. Yeah, we can give you a closer look to the, the board. It's a little bit different. We can take an angle from the side to see how this is actually equipped. It's like your phone when it's curved a bit, making those so much bigger takes more and energies it t takes more technologies and, uh, and we can see here it's the world's first curved instrument cluster display this is quite cool yeah mm. very important is that in the future if we achieve the automated driving the driver functions is released that means the driver has much more time to interact with the smart cabin yeah. And the last important technology we want to present is the over-the-air technology. So imagine that in the future, a lot of new features, functions will be put to the vehicles via OTA. You have one set of the sensors, but in the future, when these functions is iterated, then we'll use the OTA to give these functions to the drivers, to the end users. So that is basically the completely system solution from Bosch for automated yeah. driving. Thank you so much. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. We, can see, we can see so many interesting te cutting edge technology here, not just in those big auto car uh, automakers, but also for those who, who works for those auto cars. Mm -hmm. As we have already walked to the end of this hall, so we have to say bye-bye to our audience. So the Shanghai Auto 2021 is very nice, very, uh, very nice. If you live in Shanghai, uh, welcome to come to the uh, National Exhibition and the Convention Center. If you are not, you can check out those live streams, not only from us, but also from other vloggers. Check out what's going on, the, all those cutting-edge technologies and also cool, those very, very cool cars. 
Okay, so let's say bye bye to our audience. Bye bye, bye guys.